hi everyone welcome back again to my channel guys as you can see i don't have any makeup at all because today's video i'm doing uh get ready with me so let's get started uh, i did have all my skincare i have a total uh repair from dior and also the serum this is like a lotion serum the other one and my eye cream is dermatology i know how to pronounce that and i also have this sample of revitalize mass no intensity intensive revitalizing mass from la mer uh, i got this for free now let's moisturize my lip we're using with this lip uh, glow from dior i love this one it has a little bit of like a pink hint it doesn't make me lift look so uh pale I'm using this all the time when I'm working. So I always start with my eyes, guys. I have this um, one over here, Charlotte Tilbury. This is actually the um, cover your dark circle. But sometimes I use this baby to, you know, to light up my eyelid because my eyelid is also like a dark and I don't like that. So I have a sponge in here. I just... A little bit of amount for this is goes with it. I use this one as a mirror for now. So I just want to even it. And sometimes I do use a, I do have, let me see guys. After I cover that, I'm using this one over here. I do have, I want to use this part over here because this is like a primer for eyeshadow. So I just use my hair for this. Oh, since I got that one, I was debating that which Chanel should I use, the matte or the shimmery one. This is the newest one. This is the first one to come out. This is, I have this long time ago, guys. It's, it's, it's very matte and very neutral color. Whether this one is mostly like shimmery. I purchased this last year, if I'm not mistaken. So this is their twid um, collections of eyeshadows. So uh Normally, I use this one over here. This is my most used, guys. I love this so much. So let's move on and put that one. Sometimes I use the brush itself. Sometimes out oh, the sponge it comes with it. Sometimes a brush. But this time, I'm going to use this brush. Then I'm going to blend it with the brush. I'm going to use this part over here for my crease so i have this blender in here this is like a blending brush here then i always tap guys and i put like that and i do like sweep them up like that over here so mine i'm holding this you're gonna hold using this part then i'm gonna use this part over here to make a v because this one it's uh darken enough to foundation since i do have a um everything moisturizer i'm gonna use this forever uh glue wheel from dior i just do like a small pump it's like a one one pump you just gonna put over here and i'm using this la mer uh, the liquid uh, soft foundation and my shade is beige 32 uh, it has SPF 20 for this one I just do one pump then I've just spray it out and I do make a dot
Yeah. There you go, guys. As you can see, I just want like a natural look, not too heavy. So we're going out on a daytime. And I'm just used with a powder with La Mer as well. That every time I use it at night times, it's cover everything. So next is this uh, Forever Skin Correct uh, from, uh, Concealer from Dior. And after that, I'm going to use that right after. Just do that part over here. And then I'm going to use the angle part there by the way there's so many technique now of a how to apply your uh, concealer there's a new technique now 2024 i have a very dark under eye circle that's why i always find a lighter concealer to brighten my eyes this is what it's for it's brighten up your under eye so I still use the same sponge taking out for this. Even just only a Dior, it actually brighten up as you can see. But I like to brighten up more to cover up my... Uh, see, it's more like brighten up more on my under eye now. I got pimples on my underneath my lip. So the next is a powder. I have this La Mer, uh, what you call this, La Mer uh, powder. This is not a setting powder, I'm not sure. Uh, just like a powder. It comes with this, by the way, but I don't like this. Every time I use this one, the powder is everywhere. So I use the Chanel one, press that one, and I put it away here. I like this powder, by the way. Just a little bit, guys. It's just too much. Also, I use this only when we have special occasion. Because actually, for my neck, I use a Dior powder. I have this one. It's a Dior, Dior Skin Nude Air. This is also nice. It's because I got so many uh, uh, compact powder. I use this one goes to my uh, neck because it's also nice. Blush on. I'm using this blush on the Hermes Rose Pomant, uh, number 32. Uh, people are really into this a new train of a uh, beige Chanel uh, bronzing cream. I have another one of this by the way and look at this for this price it's actually worth it so i'm just doing like that here then i do this as you can see that one over here guys then i do that I have a Chanel highlight that I got on December. This is the highlight stick. So I just put this one over here. And also here. And I've got this in here. Go to my nose. And here. I have this uh, waterproof eyeliner I just put underneath <laughs> some people put that one and then do want to have a wing see they have a little bit of wing 
So look at that uh, Chanel here. And then my eyelash curl, eyelashes curl from Dior. I'm gonna use like this one, like a applied last and start. So that's normally when I'm on the daytime, I use this one. So now for my eyebrow, let's find normally sometimes I use just by itself this one or only this one over here. This is from Charlotte Tilbury, Tilbury Charlotte Tilbury from Legendary Bros. There you go guys, that's it for my makeup today. I'm gonna go ahead and finish my hair. I'm gonna blow dry and I'm gonna do a little bit of a straight or curl. We'll see how I like, but for now I'm gonna blow dry. My hair's still a little bit damp. So yeah, I will see you guys on my next video. Bye. By the way, don't forget to subscribe, like, and hit a notification bell. So you notify every time I upload my video. I'll see you guys again on my next one. Bye.